Hello and welcome to the ETF show. Joining us now is Wisdom Tree Investments Global CIO, Jeremy Schwartz. Well, Jeremy, great to have you with us first. What's the name of the ETF that we're talking about today? Thanks for having us here today, Jenna. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about the Wisdom Tree US Quality Growth ETF. The ticker is QGRW. It's one of our newer launches, but it's been off to a, a very interesting start in, in, the, in the short six months it's been live. Uh, it's been right in the prime focus of what's been happening in the markets this year. And what's the strategy behind it? You know, so there's a lot of different ways of identifying growth stocks. There's also been a lot of research in factors and quality has been one of the uh, preferred factors in some of the academic research. And we're marrying those two factors together in sort of combined ranking of identifying high quality companies that are also delivering some of the better growth rates out there. So there's a composite quality and growth ranking uh, you heard a lot about unprofitable tech companies last year during the pandemic driving the market higher. Uh, and this is a, one of the ways to say, hey, these companies have good profits, good return on capital, but also growing faster than the typical stock. And so it's a nice combined quality and growth stock selection process. And of course, there are different indexing methodologies within growth strategies. How does this fund compare to some of the others out there? It's, it's also, this has been a year where there's been huge dispersion within the standard growth indexes. And you look at the major providers like Standard Poor's and Russell, they probably are the two most common benchmarks. Uh, and you look at sort of the decisions these index providers have for how they select stocks. Uh, and and S&P, I did a piece in December talking about the rebalance in the S&P family. They added momentum as one of their factors for selection. So what had strong momentum last year? Energy stocks, they're not your typical growth stock. Um, and so what didn't have momentum last year was tech, the traditional growth stock. So what happened in the standard indexes is, is you had a lot of energy, reduced tech. Uh, and then what's happened this year, you talked about the Magnificent Seven or the largest stocks driving the market. Uh, there's been almost 1,500 to 2,000 basis points of relative performance just in the first six months of this year between our quality growth index and ETF QGRW and the standard S&P growth index. So how you select stocks really matters. Uh, it's been been nice. We've been in the exact stocks leading the market higher, but it goes to the, the nuances of how do you create a methodology and knowing what's under the hood that can really matter in, in markets like this. What makes QGRW especially relevant in this climate? Well, I, I think you hear AI leading this leading the story. This is not driven by AI, but all those stocks are in our top ten holdings between you know the major tech companies, the, the Nvidia's of the world, uh, as well as just sort of the premier growth names today. So I think in a time where you see large cap growth leading, uh, you know QGRW is a hundred stocks, so it's a little bit more concentrated large cap growth. Back basket, but it's combining, we think, long-term academic research on quality with these growth factors. Uh, and, and this year has been a great test to, to how we do in this sort of mega growth rally. And finally, what type of investor should consider adding QGRW to their portfolio? Well, there's people who are looking for alternatives who, you know, maybe they've been a value investor for a long time and want to add in pockets of growth. Uh, you know, this is a way of doing it with a quality factor added on. So if you're worried about the profitability of some of those sort of unprofitable tech companies that were, were leading during the pandemic, this solves some of that. And so, you know, combining those two factors of quality and growth characteristics, I think that's, uh, you know, the, the place that people will, will find this a useful tool for. Well, Jeremy, great to have you back on. Thanks, Jenna. And thank you for watching. Once again, that was Wisdom Tree Investments Global CIO, Jeremy Schwartz. And I'm Jenna Dagenhart with Asset TV.